Hello guys, welcome back to D on the Couch. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I post. So recently it was World Mental Health Day, but I didn't get the opportunity to post. This is a matter that is quite close to my heart. We all from time to time suffer from mental health issues but find it difficult to talk about because of the stigma attached to it. I know I certainly did. I had to hit near rock bottom before I could find the courage to say, damn the stigma. Life can be hard sometimes and finding the right balance to cope can be tricky. I am no expert on mental health issues. I can only speak from experience and today I am speaking to you. If you find that you are suffering from sudden loss of appetite, lack of sleep, a sadness that just won't leave, withdrawal from previously enjoyed activities, and if you are finding day-to-day -day life laborious, then your strength is in seeking help. When I finally sought help, I was advised to keep a journal, which I later turned into a self-help book. Lost my battle with depression. I would like to read to you a short passage from the book, if I may. It wasn't easy for me to accept that I was depressed. And it was even harder for me to tell anyone that I was depressed. Where do you begin? How do you begin the conversation? Face to face? A text? An email? Or in a book? It is advisable to let certain people know that you are depressed. If you have siblings, children, a close friend, an employer, or a close enough colleague, then they should definitely know. It will help them to explain, it will help to explain those days when you are not 100%. And they may know how to make you feel better by just being there for you, talking, listening without judging. And if you are lucky enough to have a silly one who will just make light of the moment. Some people prefer to be alone when they're going through moments of depression. This must be respected. Do not force them to talk until they are ready. They may prefer to be quiet and sit it out. So just be there. Don't leave them feeling lonely. For some, it's the opposite. Like me, I like people around. I like chatter, fun, and to be social. It takes my mind off it. I guess that is why it was a shock when I started to write about my depression. The reaction was, I never would have guessed. A colleague saw me in the playground and came up to talk to me. We had never really spoken before. Maybe hello here and there, but we didn't really know each other. So naturally my reaction was, what now? My colleague revealed to me that she would Sometimes that is all we need. I felt truly empowered that my post had evoked such emotion and that somebody felt better simply by talking to me and me simply being there, allowing her the space to express. Some family, friends and colleagues have not known what to say and that is okay. It's been like the elephant in the room. They have acted a little differently around me, watching their words, and what they can or cannot say. I am still me. For a long time, I didn't know what to say or how to react or be supportive to people suffering from depression. I therefore understand it takes time. We need to talk more about mental health issues. We need to create an awareness on the topic so that together we can kill the stigma. In honour of World Mental Health Day, I have a few copies of my book left 
and I would like to give this away. So if you would like one, please send me a private message and I will send one out to you. Until next time, this is it from me. Take care of you. Bye.